If you're going to do a film, especially in Australia, anywhere in Australia, just out of total respect, you should invite someone in to give you, if not a welcome, then an acknowledgement to country. And that, so that people can understand that we had a very strong culture, we still do today, but can understand how complicated and complex our, our, our laws and our culture and our traditions are, and, and it's great to share. So, um, start it off, please, Ben. Assembly place it in. My name is Quitter, and uh, I'm culture coordinator here at Fairbridge, and uh, I'm the culture coordinator of the film Three Summers. Just to see that everything, um, the film is uh, run culturally appropriate. You're here for a good time, not a bad time. And you, you can say that to the fire. I'm here for a good time, not a bad time. I think it's something that doesn't happen enough when you make films, um, that kind of recognition of the cultural significance in the place that you're, you're often working. Kuda, who was our uh, local Indigenous consultant, worked at Fairbridge and was there and, and really knew what, what, what we needed to go through. But it, So he did it in a, a very accessible and caring and understanding way. But I think it's a really, really valuable thing to do and I think everybody got a lot out of it. This has been an amazing film because I live in a bit of a white bubble, which is very easy to do. But, you know, I'm meeting people from Afghanistan and, of course, the local Nunga people and it's really been a, a, quite an extraordinary experience, actually, in that the film has replicated that diversity. Oh, it's so rewarding. This whole thing has been an acknowledgement of whose land we're on and it's been a real treat to see the dancing and participate in certain ceremonies and it's not just in the film, it's part of the filmmaking as well and I think that, yeah, I've been very lucky to experience that. And it's just been an education for me. I don't think I've ever spent that much time and I'm probably for the first time in my life I felt part of, of the Aboriginal community too. When our mob see the representation of us in, in, in this film, they're going to be really happy. Because, you know, like I said before, Ben has written some, some magic dialogue which hasn't been heard on film before, um, especially written by a non-Aboriginal bloke, a non-original, yeah.